Well, welcome back. Um, this is video three of six. At least I think it's going to be six. Um, so in the first two videos, we, we covered um, Hello World, which was the first Pro program that we did. Um, we also covered two types of variables. We covered scalars and arrays. Um, we also covered conditionals with the if statements. Um, though if you want to do more on conditionals, um, I recommend looking at the switch statement. It's a fairly powerful um, way to get through multiple if else else ifs and uh, whatnot, um, just using the switch and the case statements. Um, we also did for each, for and while statements, um, and uh, that brings us to in this well in this video we'll be doing file reading and file writing. Um, I'm going to be attempting to put out two more videos today, one on regular expressions and one on hashes. Um, regular expressions are a great way to search and manipulate strings um, and regular expressions are in my opinion one of the most powerful parts of Perl. Um, hashes are the third type of variable that we will be dealing with in this course um, and you can skip forward to that video if you want to know more um, or you can wait. Okay so um, files uh, reading files um, so what we have here is we want we, of course we're using strict um, open is the command that we use to open the, the file um, then we give the file a name um, in sort of proper style or, or the way most people do it is they they put the word in all capital letters so that you know it's a file handle. Um, then here is the read or write or append um, area. Um, we won't be dealing with append here, but I just want to mention it so you can look it up yourself. Um, so if you've got a less than symbol, that is a read symbol, um, then we've got the name of the file. So I've got the file files here within my directory, so I've got quotes, uh, which is one that we're about to deal with, and then I've got the comma data, which we'll deal with um, in a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the file handle, then we're going to take that file handle, and we're going to, at one time, read the entire contents of the file, and then print it out to the screen. Um, this method is good if you're dealing with a small file. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for anything large. Um, I'll give on the next slide, we'll see what we do with large, but let's take a look at this execution first. So here we are, um, just the same code that we we're just looking at. So let's hit the play button. And let's put that down there. Okay, so what we've got is we've opened the quotes file we've read the quotes file, and then we've used the, um, the print array command to print it all in here. And because each of the um, lines within the file itself has a new line character at the end that we haven't chomped, um, we see the new line characters down here as such. So then always, always, um, even though it does it by itself when it closes, but just get in the habit, always close your file handles once you're done using them. Um, even if you're still using the data, you just make sure that your, your file handle is closed. Um, this is especially important if you're trying to write stuff because if you don't close it, you can accidentally overwrite something and you want that error to come up if that happens. So next, um, this is what you want to do when you've got a larger file that you need to handle and a larger file that you, you want to read line by line and then do something to it. Um, I find in my own use, I tend to do line by line um, entries because that's sort of, well, I, I deal with large amounts of data. That's sort of the way that I, I think about it when I'm doing it, is just to read, read the line, deal with the line, move to the next line. So here we, we again, we've got our open command. We've got our handle, we've got our read, we've got our uh, name. Oh, I forgot to mention, if this bit, um, should the file not be there, 
this will come up and say uh, that it could not open the file. And then it will, it should give the name of the file there. Um, so here is a while loop. Um, so we did while's, while loops last time. So while declaring a new variable line equals a line from in file, while, while you're able to do that, um, this will, this is a true statement. Um, as soon as you run out of lines to read, it will become a false statement and break the while loop. Then we can come in and we can get rid of our, our new line characters, we chop it. And then, like we did last time, we're just going to print everything to the screen and then close, very important to remember to close, our file handle. So, here's the code again. And we can see we get the exact same um, result as last time. Um, it's just that we know that this time we put the new line command in, whereas last time it was already in the file. Okay, so here is, sorry, that's supposed to be common data. I need to change that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to read in a file that looks like this. So it's just got ID, name, country of origin. Um, this is myself and my wife. Um, so we're going to be pulling this out and storing them. So let's do this and run it. And this comes through, no errors. So it, it's got, well, it should have uh, my wife's information on it now because I overwrote my own information coming through here. But also we've got a problem with um, scope that this isn't gonna come outside of the scope. So it just kind of shows you how you can split it up, but you need to be a little bit more intelligent about how, where you declare your variables and how you're going to do it. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to change that for next time I do this lecture. So if we want to write a file, um, we take our, what we want to write, here, here are some just little snippets of text. And then we've got our open, so now we name it out file, um, again in all capitals. And now we've got the greater than symbol, um, as opposed to the less than symbol, to show that we're writing out. Um, we're going to be writing it to myquits.txt, or again, we could, um, could not open the file. Um, just so we know, myquits is not in the directory. Um, then it's going to say for each quote in quotes, we're going to print to the out file. So we have to print and to the file handle out file, and then we're going to print quote and the new line character. So let's go ahead and execute that. Okay, so we've got no output there in the console, but now we've got a new file in our directory and it has our information in it. So that's all fairly simple. Um, there's more exercises for you to do in the book. Um, if you don't have the book yet, you can download it at the, um, or I've got the download location in the comments below the video. Um, go ahead and do that, and then I'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks, bye.